Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell. Come back, check out some of the other content I have on my channel. It is Friday, November 22nd. <coughs> I'm hoping that'll be the last little disruption of hiccups or coughs or whatever it is I have during my uh, devotion time. I'm so sorry when I when that happens. It's like, okay, whatever. Our devotions are coming from the Bible Promise Book Devotional for Women. This is 365 Days of Encouragement for Your Heart. And of course, I think we're going to be shy one this year because it was a leap year. So we might be one day shy. Who knows? But in any case, I'm going to start actively looking for my devotion for next year, whether it's on my shelf already or whether I need to go find a new one. I'll be so stay tuned. I will definitely keep you guys aware and informed so you have enough time if you want to follow along with your own devotional to get a copy. I'll confess, I do go to Ollie's quite a bit to find, that's where I found this for like $2.99. And I thought it was just so fitting. Um, we're in week 47 of 2024. We're winding down the year. I can't believe uh, Thanksgiving is six days from today. I can't believe it. Our focus for week 47 is God's love part two. And our devotion today is entitled, A Faithful and Steadfast Love. Our scripture, as always, if you have a different translation than what is being used for the scripture of the day, please post it in the comments below so that we can all enjoy the benefit of hearing a new translation and getting a better idea of what that scripture is saying. I always believe it's very enriching. So, thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. The scripture comes out of Psalm 26, 3, the King James Version. Thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I love it. All right, let's get into this. The sun rises and sets. Flowers grow and send forth fragrance. Pets become our friends. Some would even argue family. The stars invite you to gaze their way. Birds sing and you notice. Each of these moments are sponsored by God's love for you. God's love is unshakable, steadfast, and unmovable. It's something you notice in the beauty of nature and the innocence of children. And that you appreciate seeing in the lives of others. Your journey needs to support life. Oh, wait, hold it. I jumped. Sorry. Let me reread that. It's something you notice in the beauty of nature and the innocence of children and that you appreciate seeing in the lives of others. Your journey with Jesus is assured. The God who's given what the world needs to support life is absolutely faithful in his promises to love you. Sorry about that. I got distracted. I've had a lot of notifications coming in that are distracting me. Um, so forgive me for that. Today's verse encourages you to keep God's love fixed in your mind by simply noticing the everyday things around you. Uh, there's nothing I love more than the changing of the seasons. And we notice it in spring and fall specifically. Those are my two favorite times of year. Um, I just, th there's so many stark differences from death to life in spring and from life to death as one end, as the year is ending, as the year is ending, then, you know, we can take care of that. There's so many different things that God does for us in our life and the seasons reflect those changes we also experience in our lives. Okay. God's love comes in both the unexpected and the common. He cares for you through the lives of others. He shares with you in every breath you take and in everything that takes your breath away. God's love is never a one-time gift. It's absolutely complete and without equal. It bends the core of your being in his direction. It inspires you to see people the way God sees them. It opens a whole new world that's built on seeking the best for those that you love. 
when you just take in all the things, all the things that God has blessed us with, the beauty of wherever it is you're living, there's beauty everywhere, all around. And that is a sign of God's love for us. He wanted to make things good and beautiful for us. And just the people, the interactions, the experiences, all those things are a kiss from God in our lives. And of course, the devil, he wants to come to steal, kill, destroy. God has come that we would have life and have it to the full. From the things we see, to the things we hear, to the things we smell and taste, to our life experiences. Those are all blessings from God. Right? And his love is faithful and steadfast, just as the seasons, you know when each season is coming and you know when to expect it. God is God's love is can be expected in the everyday things that we do, but also in those things that come around and even the surprises, the unexpected things. He loves us so much. And it's so very important for us to recognize that love in the everyday things we experience every day and not take them for granted. Let's pray. God, we thank you that your love comes to us in so many surprising little ways and that we receive from you love letters in the form of our friends and through family and just the life experiences that you've allowed us to, to have. Father, we give you praise and glory for that. We never want to take for granted all the expressions of love you give to us every day. We don't want to be blinded to them. We don't want to be blinded to your goodness and your devotion and your steadfast love for us. All of your ways are faithful and good. And we thank you for it, Father. Help us to love and express love back to you in the everyday little things that you give us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell. Then come back, check out some of the other content I have on my channel. I'll be watching my sweet girl, Nora. She'll be here in probably about 40 minutes. And so we'll have her today. Uh, this is the little, my daughter, Sarah, uh, her, uh, Formal wedding is in April next year. So this is like the bridesmaid getaway weekend. And so it's just a lot of fun to have my my sweet baby girl, but also to know my girls are going to be experiencing a fun little getaway in an Airbnb somewhere. I'm not sure. I just found out about it. I was like, oh, that's this weekend. Okay. So anyway, it's going to be a great weekend. I've got a lot of uh, stuff to do today grocery shopping. My cousin's birthday is on Sunday, my cousin Van, and we're doing a tailgate birthday party for him at my house. And I got to do the Thanksgiving shopping today too, and pick up food for my mother, which is, you know, she has a normal supply of food that she likes to eat that help her to be independent. And so we try to make sure we get her the healthiest things that we can find that are easy and convenient for her to uh, prepare. And so that's always fun. But you guys have a great Friday. God bless you. And bye until next time.